in one particular small group communication class, I had a series of students coming to my office hours making a statement. Jermaine, Mr. Davis, I'm burned out. I'm burned out. So all of a sudden I said, you know what? I had an aha moment. <laughs> you know that little light bulb inside of your head or your heart makes you begin to think and contemplate, makes you begin to ponder and evaluate? So I had this aha moment. I said, how can I help my students? And because I'm a visionary, I started to think, how can I help my colleagues as well? So I randomly came up with five questions and I began to pass them out in my classrooms. What is the difference between stress and burnout? How do you differentiate between the two? Are they the same thing? Do we use these terms interchangeably? What are the distinct differences between stress and burnout? Where the more research I found, the more I found that there was a complete difference between the two. Here's what stress is. Stress is real or perceived. And when this stress occurs in your life, it disturbs your healthy mental, emotional, and or physical well-being. So all of us in here, we all start off at a baseline where we pretty much have a healthy mental state, emotional state, physical well-being. Stress occurs when an activity, circumstance, or situation comes our way and it throws us off course. So stress is how you perceive things, how you look at the situation. You ever heard of the book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff is All Small Stuff? In that book, Dr. Richard Carlson says this, 80% of Americans worry about 80% of things that they can't do anything about. 